Okay, yeah, so I've had a bit of an issue with the with the fairy swordfish recently. Uh, it's been giving me a bit of a mind ache, but no, nevertheless. Um, so, but a couple of things I've been looking at is, um, one to do, obviously, the, um, the rigging that, um, that you can do as, a, as an extra piece. The kit doesn't come with any rigging, um, so you have to you know, either make your own, either um, use an easy line or an EZ line, um, and, or cotton or however you guys you know you, you, you want to you, you method that you want to use um, which is fine um, so um, because of a lockdown at the minute I'm struggling to get hold of some easy line or EZ line uh, which is the EZ line is a stretchy very thin uh, like 0 0.25 um, and something like that um, and it's very thin very cotton kind of you know um, thread very thin um, I can't get hold of it at the minute um, and uh, so um, it's just going to lead times that you know it's going to be taking for ages. Um, so I'm struggling to get hold of some. Um, but so what I've done, because I'm, I'm, I'm quite an avid fisherman as well, or I try to be. Um, the um, I've been using um, some of, um, some of me uh, some fishing line. Uh, it's quite a thin, quite a thin gauge. I can't remember what gauge it is, but it's quite a thin one. A little bit thicker than um, than thread, um, but. It's a little bit more uh, forgiving. It stays straight, you know, <laughs> rather than flops around all over the shop. So, uh, but anyway, um, the big, the um, um, the um, the more main thing that I've been trying to been trying to solve at the moment was a little bit of a fishing issue with the with the fairy swordfish. I don't know if it was me not read the instructions right or not realised what it was supposed to do, um, because I got the I got the uh, the bottom wing section together. To add up did the top section separately, then to that lot up, and I thought the the, the actual wing strokes, um, I, I thought they were straight up. So obviously I put them in, started doing, started doing some rigging methods and things like that, and um, got to put the top wing section on, and they weren't in line. So um, so basically, um, the I put the wing sections, uh, so at the moment I put the wing strokes like this. And they should have been like that, <laughs> and uh, they're my fault. So I had to unglue them. I tried to unglue them, wiggle them out, and glue them. I managed to get it done. So, uh, so yeah. So they actually. Um, so here we go. So, um, so they actually look more like that. So, oh, well, I'll take it into the camera and we'll take a quick look. Yeah, sorry about that. Excuse the mess on my desk. <laughs> Having modelers, isn't it? Okay, so basically, if you see the um, um, struts in there, um, they're actually. I'm just, um, they're just off centre a little bit, so I managed to do it. I managed to get them out. I thought I'd let you know if anybody's tackling this, um, to put the if you put the um, top wing section on first, these are fine. These are fine. Make sure obviously the ang then the, the angle is correct on the inner ones here. Um, I'll put down a little bit so you can see. So, so make sure these here are in the right in the right position um, and. Um, these ones here um, are pretty straight, um, so they're not too bad. But they need to go on an angle. So you put this, you put the top section on first, um, glue that down fine, and you still got a bit of flexibility between here, so you can, so you can obviously hold it, prise it apart, and wiggle them in, and then uh, and then glue them in. Um, so you can't see that. Um, so um, and uh, and then hopefully it should that should work. So as you see already, I've already started putting some. Um, uh, rigging in place, so I'm um, doing that way, and also I start doing some of my own rigging. Now I start doing some of my own turnbuckles as well on this. Um, so I'll see there for too well. It's not very good. So come up, there you go. Um, so, so I start doing my own turnbuckles on there. So I will do a little bit of a video on them because they are very intricate. Um, and uh, basically, there's a couple of ways, different ways of doing your own uh, turnbuckles. Um, so you can. Um, and you can either just make a little knot um, and put them in, um, and so yeah, so you can, so you can make a little knot and put them in, or um, or you can use um, um, a, a little bit of sprue to, to simulate it, or you can actually buy um, you can buy um, a, a little copper tubing, um, and um, and you can thread that through and make your own little you know um, turnbuckles that way. Um, 
I opted to make mine more difficult. <laughs> so you always make your own and make your own work. So basically, the only things I used was um, there's a little bit of strand. Um, you can see it on the camera. So basically, there's um, it's a bit of strand of wire, a little copper wire, um, and uh, twisted it enough to make loops. And then I also um, um, and I also got a little bit of a little bit of wire. You see that. Um, so I made tiny little um, two millimeter kind of little loops, basically like boots, uh, to go over so you can thread it down, uh, um, thread it onto. So basically something like something like those. Uh, it's very tiny. So uh, so you can basically thread it onto your um, onto the line. This is very very difficult. Um, do a little bit now. So you can thread it onto the line, um, and uh, and then um, have a bit of twisted copper sticking out. So it looks like then you've got like a little loop. I found this the easiest way to do the ring because I've not got the because I'm not in the easy line. Um, easy line is quite easy. So it's literally easy. easy. You super glue one side, um, and you kind of get it a little bit, a little bit shorter than you need it, um, and then you can. Um, once you've got super glue one side, drag it and pull it because it's stretching, drag it down and then clip it into the next bit. Um, and then with, and with a bit of super glue on and hold it there. Um, and then once you let go, then it'll just kind of be elastic basically. And it's so much, it's so much easier to do. Um, but uh, because I've not got any, um, the only way I found the easy way to do it was on the, um, on the model. So uh, I drilled. I'm just going to show you up. Um, just the bits I didn't capture on uh, on my speed on my, uh, on my speed as part of the speed build um, was you can see on that. I've drilled basically um, um, a hole each um, on each corners uh, there and there, and you see in there. Yep. Let me camera and focus for you. There you go. These are the holes there. So yeah. So basically, I've done those and. What I've done as well is on. See on there? There you go. Um, on here. So basically, what I've done, I've done a bit of line from that hole all the way down to this um, into the loop. I'm not going to this loop. Now I've hooked it off. I made a little, uh, made a little uh, kind of um, um, boot and uh, line here. Stuck it down here, and then I've married the two up together and glued it. Um, so do it in two sections. So then that means then you're going to get a um, it's taut. Because I've seen I've seen someone where someone just pulled it, and obviously as soon as they pulled it, it let go, it's all sag and looped. So to try and get it as taut as you can, um, um, obviously you got you got an attack on that side, put it through the loop, and then pull it, and then you can glue it, and then snip snip the excess off. And then that's the best way I found to do that. There might be some other options. There is some options where you can drill both sides or drill one side and pull it through the hole and then come out the other side of it and then glue it and then snip it off and fill it. To me, because I've already painted it, <laughs> it's just more extra work, isn't it? So you might, um, I thought, uh, and it'll look nicer once you've, I don't know, it's down to each their own, you know, whatever people want to do. But that's the way I do it. So, um, so yeah, so I've basically got that now to, uh, to finish off with, um, um, with these, so um, so what I'll do. I'm going to get back to um, um, down here. We're going to finish off the rest of the rest of the lines. Um, uh, so obviously, we'll take a bit of time to do. So I'm going to put it on speed and uh, make it a little bit quicker for you, so you can see it. So uh, hopefully that'll that'll help out. So yeah, so I'm going to get cracked on with this and uh, I'll put that back down there. So yeah, so otherwise, yeah, but otherwise the build's getting on pretty all right actually. I'm I'm quite happy with this so far. As I said there is there was a few fitting issue bits, but I managed to solve them and. Um, Couple of bits of filling issues, but to be fair, it's not been too bad, I and mean, it's looking all right. I'm quite sure for that. So so far, um, I'll sell the um, little seats and things. So yeah, so we're getting there. So okay, well, nevertheless, I'll, I'll get on with that now. And uh, um, yeah, so we'll see you in a bit. Take it easy.